Eighth Standard 7G3. This one is about cross sections. So if we look at this first question, select all the faces of the right rectangular prism that have the same shape and dimensions as the cross section indicated. And so what I would notice is that this front rectangle, that front face, is identical to the face shaded in gray, and so is this back face, this back rectangle. So the front face and the back face. Number eight, select all the shapes that can be formed by either a vertical or horizontal slice of a cylinder. So we think about what a cylinder is. It's just a can type of shape. So it might look something like this. Okay, and roughly. And if we were to cut a slice through that, say we slice it through this way. And think about what that would do. That slice would be a rectangle. We could think of it another way. If I were to slice vertically this direction, what you can't see is what it would be, and it would be A rectangle or if this were a shorter cylinder it could possibly even be a square now if I were to slice the if I were to slice the other direction going across it It would actually be a circular shape. You can't tell it when you look at it in three dimensions about exactly what that would be. But if I just slice through the middle of a can across it, we would get a circle. If we were to cut through a can and open it up and see what kind of shape remained, it would be a circle. Notice that that circle is parallel to this base circle. Notice that um, a rectangle would be parallel to this front base, which is a rectangle. Standard 7G4 is about circles. We're looking at circumference and area specifically of circles, and we're going to use our formulas for these. Problem number two, what is the circumference of the circle? So we start with what it's asking for, circumference. And that tells me which formula I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of the formulas that start with C, circumference. And since it's given me the distance all the way across, that is the diameter of a circle, then I'm going to use the one that uses diameter. So C equal pi D. And so we've got uh, 3.14 for pi times. The diameter is 18. And when we multiply, we get 56.52, and that is a distance, so it's measured in just plain centimeters. Problem number nine, the area of a circle is 113.04 square meters. What's the diameter? So it's asking for area. We've only got one formula for area of a circle, and it's A equal pi r squared. So, Let's plug in what we know. We know the area is 113.04. We know we're going to use 3.14 for pi, but we don't know what the radius is. So we're going to just leave that as r squared. And we actually want to know what the diameter is. So we'll come back and figure that out once we know the radius. So. Let's go through and simplify this. We're going to get rid of that 3.14 by dividing both sides by 3.14. And that comes out to 36. Now, we know that the radius squared is 36. So we have to think, what number is R? What times itself is 36? 
you can use the square root button on your calculator. So if you were to type in the square root of 36 on your calculator, you're going to get 6. So 6 is the value of r. And if you think about it, 6 squared is 36, so that was true. Now we want to know what the diameter is. So we take the radius times 2 to get the diameter, and 6 times 2 is 12. So answer choice B. It's 12 meters. Standard 7G6 is about area and volume. Looking at problem number 4, what is the volume of the rectangular prism in cubic centimeters? So it's asking for volume. We have a formula for volume. V is equal to the base area times the height. And in this case, the base is a rectangle. So we know the area of a rectangle is length times width. So I'm going to replace the base with length times width and then multiply by the height. So if we take that base down here, we know that length is 4 times width is 3. And then the height is how tall it is, and it's 9. So 4 times 3 times 9 is 108, so the volume is 108 cubic centimeters. Number six, Caitlin has a toy house shaped like a cube with a square pyramid on top that she wants to paint. The dimensions are shown. What is the surface area of the house? Okay, so let's just start with um, the top portion of it. We know that it is made up of these triangles. There's four triangles. Each one has a formula for area that's always the same. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. So the base is the distance across. And notice that the distance across is going to match the distance across on the cube, which is seven centimeters. And then the height it gave you here on this one triangle on the side is 8 centimeters. And half of 7 times 8 is 28. Then we have this cube. Notice that for each cube, the area is equal to length times width which is the same 7 times 7 because it's a cube. It's made up of squares. So the area of each square is 49. And we can go through and notice that there are four faces or four, cube, or four squares well, around the cube and then one at the bottom. So there's five squares. So now we're just going to calculate the total surface area. We can say there's four that are 28 square centimeters, and then five that are 49 square centimeters, and we add those together. And so we get 112 plus 245, and that equals 357. And these are air, this is area, so it's measured in square centimeters. Answer choice A. Number nine, what's the area of the arrow? The first thing I might notice is that I could separate this arrow that's a funny shape into two different shapes. I have got one um, rectangle and one triangle. So let's start with the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. We don't know the length, but what we do know 
is that this side is what remains from the total length of 9 centimeters minus, so this minus this, which gives what remains 6 centimeters here. So 6 centimeters times the width of 2 centimeters means that that area is 12 square centimeters. And then for the triangle, area is 1 half base times height. The base might be this direction of a triangle, 4, times the height would be how tall it is, which is 3. Or you could reverse those and say the base is 3 and the height is 4. It doesn't matter because they meet at 90 degree angles. And half of 4 times 3 is 6, and it's square centimeters. So then we just add them together. 12 plus 6 equal 18 square centimeters total for this area.